Hey gang, James again with TFB TV. I hope you're not tired of new AR-15s and AR-15 reviews because that's what I've got for you today. I love getting new AR-15s. I never get tired of them. I love seeing how manufacturers configure their guns out of the box in order to direct it towards the consumer, guess what the consumer is going to want, and add a little more variety into what, again, I know some of you guys are thinking is becoming a bit of a monotonous category for firearms, and that is the AR-15. In any event, I've got the STAG-15 MOE SL with me today. This is a STAG AR-15. It comes configured, fully decked out with MOE SL furniture from Magpul, including the MOE SL rear stock, an MOE grip, the Magpul MBUS rear sight, the Magpul MOE SL handguard. It's got an F-marked front sight, and as you can see here, this muzzle brake is of Stag's own creation. It also comes with two Magpul 30 round M3 magazines in the box, and it comes with a nice little carrying case. MSRP in this gun's 975 bucks, but it's brand new. I haven't seen it on the street yet, so I don't know what it's gonna run, but something tells me it's gonna be probably around $700. And you're probably getting a little over $100 worth of Magpul extras with this gun, so I think that's a pretty fair price. Many of us are familiar with Stag. Stag makes excellent products. They've been in the industry for a long time, so I expect this to be no exception, and it certainly doesn't look like it. As you can see here, it comes with a 16 inch M4 profile barrel. It's phosphated, one in nine twist, 4140 steel. So it isn't exactly mil spec, which would be one in seven twist and 4150, but those distinctions are really minor, at least for the commercial market. It comes with a mil spec M16 bolt carrier group. And as you might be able to see here, it comes with an ambidextrous sling plate right in front of the castle nut and the castle nut is staked on, which is a nice touch you don't see in many commercial AR-15s. It comes with a standard buffer, an overall length of 32 to 36 inches, depending on where your stock's set, and it only weighs 6.4 pounds, so that's pretty lightweight for a full-featured M4 like this. In any event, let's take a closer look at the guts, and then let's take it to the range. All right, let's see what we're working with trigger pull-wise on the stag. Wow, six pound, 12 ounces. That's pretty light for an AR. And I'm used to seeing seven, seven and a half pounds from a factory gun. Six pounds, 11 ounces. All right, guys, I have the bolt carrier here. As you can see, it is an M16 bolt carrier, and it's got some pretty nice staking on the gas key. Looking at the bolt, I don't see anything to suggest that it is high pressure tested or magnetic particle inspected. Usually they'll mark it. Now that's usually, that doesn't mean all the time, but technically if this were a mil spec bolt, uh, it would have been high pressure tested or magnetic particle inspected. All right, so let's see how this stag does right out of the box. Using Ventura Munitions 223, by the way, 55 grain. Gosh, pretty good. I mean, straight out of the box, that trigger's great. Recoil mitigation, of course, is excellent. I love the Magpul furniture. The brake is really keeping that, uh, the recoil in check. Now, again, we're only talking 223, right? It isn't like this is a, uh, a beast, but it is nice to have a little bit of extra stabilization, helps keep you on target whenever you're shooting. And I mean, this thing's running. Fantastic. As you saw, uh, sometimes these P-Mags do get a little hung up on the magwell, which is one thing I do like more about metal mags, aluminum mags, they tend to not get hung up where these uh, polymer magazines sometimes can. But yeah, all in all, not bad. Uh, 
This is a blast, man. Uh, the brake keeps it on track. You can see there's a little 12-inch uh, plates, and we are at the 35-yard line. So, uh, yeah, pretty easy to keep it on target and just go from plate to plate to silhouette, plate to plate. Pretty nice. Why don't we back it out a little bit? I'll take it to 100 yards. All right, guys, now I've got the... Uh, <laughs> Got the Stag 15 out here at 100 yards. Wish it could go further, but again, deer flies from hell. It's summertime, can't do it. I'm gonna shoot a bunch of groups with PMC x -Tac, which Stag recommended and they sent to me to shoot. So I'm gonna do these, uh, and this is a full metal jacket, 55 grain full metal jacket boat tail. Let's see how it does. All right, so for the Stag 15, the best group of the day with the X-Tac ammo, it's right here, right about 1.4 inches, just a little bit tighter than 1.4 inches. The last three rounds I had in the mag, right here, went into 0.83 inches. That's pretty impressive, especially uh, with standard nothing to it barrel pretty good all right gang now we're gonna try the d60 of death you guys may remember I did this uh, with the FN M4 the last time uh, that I reviewed kind of a battle configured M4 like this and this is 60 rounds of just junk ammo it's mostly wolf steel but whatever I can find loaded in here I'm gonna blast it it's probably about 92, 93 degrees today, 100% humidity. I have not cleaned this stag, even though I've been shooting it all day. Let's see how it does. God, I like these Magpul SL grips. It's, I've got these on one of my rifles at home. I mean, they get hot, but anything's gonna get hot when you dump 60 rounds like that. Um, but they do a pretty good job with heat dissipation. I think this is the best set of hand guards that Magpul has going right now. Uh, so good job, Stag. While this gun's been running very well today, and it has a really good sub seven pound GI trigger, as I told you guys earlier, there are some downsides. The 4140 uh, barrel steel, not that big of a downside. That's pretty much commercial spec. That's the standard uh, that you're gonna find with most commercial rifles, even though 4150, uh, slightly more durable. That's what you find in mil spec guns. Same thing, you've got a one and nine inch twist. Got the Ambi sling plate, that's fantastic. Mil spec bolt carrier group. Accuracy was good at 100 yards. Wish I could have taken it a little bit further today. But guys, I gotta say, look at the MSRP, compare that against this review and decide if this is the gun for you. What I like about this rifle, it's good to go right out of the box. So check them out. Guys, thanks for watching. Thank you to our sponsors, Ventura Munitions and Proxybid, and I will see you guys next week.